In Daredevil Death News. Oh, no. I can guarantee you it's a white person. <laughs> That's racist. An American white person. Mm -hmm. American white person, because they're the ones who do all the crazy with shit. With rhyming first and last names? <laughs> Evil Knievel? Oh. Like with, a, with a Red Bull sponsorship. <laughs> Submitted by Antoine B. Sam Jam. A 26-year-old daredevil has died after falling from a 62-story skyscraper in China. Oh, is it oh, one of those guys that jump around? The like a free baser? You might be wrong. Is a Chinese like daredevil? No, oh, base jumper. <laughs> Hold on, I'm putting money on this. All right. What is he? What is it? He's You're Chinese. Wrong. Really? Well, I mean, I guess that's another good reason because everything in Chinese breaks on you. So maybe he was up there just doing a normal thing and then the whole thing shattered and he fell. <laughs> Wait, because his little cups were made in China? Is that what you're saying? The little things he... The suction cup? <laughs> Why is he... Why were they made in China? Why is he an old-timey spy just going yeah, up the right? building with... Well, they, they still use those. Yeah, you don't watch Mission Impossible? Is that still a thing? It's like cupping? Yeah. Oh. See, we don't know shit about this. We just see movies. I like, like high tech, like chameleon ones when they stick on there. I just know? thought they were plungers that you. <laughs> that the... <laughs> you to That's hold. a cartoon, bro. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they use them to hold on to glass, right? In real life, they yeah, use a cotton weird. ball and they light it with fire and then they take the suction out and they go. Whoop. Is that right? Yeah, and then they go. <laughs> I don't know anything, so I would. No, you. cupping is yeah, what they do on their like on your back and your muscles and stuff. Oh, oddly enough, my um, former stepmom got called into the school because they thought that she was abusing my little brother because she cupped him and they saw the bruises and she had to go to court. Like a perfect circle? What the fuck yeah. did they justify? I don't know, just beating him with the plunger. So they she had to go to court. bottle and smack them. She, <laughs> yeah. and, like, snap she them. literally went to court with the cupping marks and said, look, this is what we do. And they're like, oh. Well, they do it now for <laughs> physical therapy, right? Mm -hmm. What is it called? It's a thing now. Cupping, cupping. Yeah. Oh, it's still called cupping? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thought they would come up with a cool scientific name for it. And it like makes you chill or something? It, it's, it, it like, it, um, it, it breaks up like scar tissue. Like there's a lot of different. Oh, really? I mean, there's the, the Chinese explanation. Like fucking pulling out spirits. Yeah. Pulling out spirits? <laughs> there's the Western like they pull out the breaking up scar tissue, in increasing body. circulation, oh, okay. moving body edema around. Like that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's like how they light, what do you light incense and shit? Mm -hmm. And like supposed to clear out your soul or some shit? And then like the Western thing is it smells pretty good. That's a little. <laughs> <laughs> My grandmother used to put like a pot of steaming, like boiling um, herbal leaves, and then it would like steam up, and then she would put me next to the pot and throw a blanket over me. So hot box the most. It's just Vicks vapor rub. Pretty much. Really? Right. Yeah. It's like old school eucalyptus oil in a steamer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so this daredevil, this Chinese daredevil. Wow. His name was Wu Yong Ning. And so he was a martial arts trained stuntman. Oh no. He had oh. background in film. He was known to do this thing called rooftopping. Rooftopping. You know what's one thing I always forget? I always forget that China is its own like country and world and also like a superpower. So like I follow like jujitsu, IGs and stuff like that and then there'll be like Chinese, Brazilian jujitsu competitions or Chinese dance competitions and all these things and I'm like, holy shit, because I'm like so like American thinking that I'm thinking that everything happens in America mm -hmm. and if you want to do uh, like dope shit, you usually travel to America, like people they come here to pursue Hollywood or they come here to do oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But then they have their own complete industry over there. So when I saw two Chinese Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guys grappling it like tripped me the fuck out like I thought that they were two Asian Americans from America going over there. <laughs> so you think everything just happens yeah. here? Yeah, I, like I literally thought everything. And everyone over there is just growing rice and shit? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> but yeah, like they have like they're like racist against your own guy. <laughs> Cause there's, it's very rare to find countries with complete industry mm. the way that, um, like usually the countries have their shit. You know, like, oh, like, they, like Japan has tech. Yeah. What's Chinese Hollywood like? Dude, Hollywood. Hollywood? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> it's Kung Hollywood. When I it's picture Kung Chinese, movies. yeah, it's just Kung Fu movies. And dramas. Yeah, or that's just what we know. Yeah, but they have their, they have everything. Dance, like, they have their own shit. It's another planet. I was flying China Air to uh, to Bali. I'm so sorry. Every commercial, like, I guess was starring some Chinese famous actor, probably the most famous person in China. And to me, I'm like, mm, so, no. <laughs> Look, all we know is Jackie Chan and Jet Li. Yo, totally. And sometimes Lucy Liu. What the fuck ever happened? No, to she's people? Asian American. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Right. And Yao Ming. Yeah. yeah. He's Chinese. With the deepest voice ever. Yeah, so back to this dude. The biggest Wu. Chinese dick ever, probably. Yeah. Hopefully. In history, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so Wu, he Woo. he was 26 years old. Here's some photos of him rooftopping. Oh, I hate oh. oh my fucking god. Was it was this right before the plunge of his death? Oh god. No, I actually have a video of that. Oh! <gasps> 
What? They caught that shit on video? Fuck. When he let go of the building. Do you guys want to see it? Yes. Oh, wait, why did he let go? Or he oh, let okay. it he slip. Let or so he's slip. holding on to like the tip of the building? That's what he was doing in that other He's picture. A badass. Dude, man, fucking play stupid yeah. games, win stupid what prizes. I can't yeah, even true. fucking say shit. Well, he has like something experience. Yeah, no, I'm just, I just, just a crazy picture. The ball that makes my too. balls tingle. Look, man, Instagram wise, I'm he looks like Nampai kid. What? He does. <laughs> he does. Instagram wise, I'm jealous because I want dope pictures like that on my Instagram. But just oh. green screen it, girl. Yeah, I know. Green screen it. <laughs> I need that for validation. But He's really awesome. Cool. And green screening awesome. looks just as good. Yep. Mm, that's true. God yes. damn. So, Sometimes better because you get better lighting. He was awesome. So here's the video. Oh man. Oh my oh, god. I'm so sorry, dude. That oh. sucks, dude. This is for a movie? No. Or so the bad. whole reason why he was rooftopping this time was because he was <laughs> taking part in some sort of competition, which they haven't named who the sponsor was, but. <laughs> Yeah, but, I wonder why. Yeah, so they, they were saying that the prize money was about $15,000, and so he was going to use that money to propose to his girlfriend the next day. Yikes! And also pay for his mom's, like, because his mom is sick. He didn't plan very well. But, like, what is the insurance policy here for this competition? Like, for real? There's no such thing as insurance policy in China. And how do you talk to your mom about that? Because, you know, I, I talk to my mom on the phone about stuff. <laughs> like, is he like, he's like, Mom, this rooftopping thing's gonna work out. <laughs> like, what do you say? Like, is that what you say? Oh. Warning, guys. Graphic warning. Well, I mean, you don't really see anything, but you know what happens after. Graphic imaginary warning. Yeah, imaginary warning. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, buddy. Oh, he's, he's like, oh, shit, I fucked up. You could tell. Why He's are there like, no oh, spotters? Fuck. There's no spotters. Right, there's no, there's no grip. The, the whole competition show. is is no equipment. That's the whole point of the competition. A spotter, man. Wait, uh, who's recording? Oh my show? fucking god! Who's recording it? They don't say. That's fucking right. crazy. You make one mistake and you can't get your foothold and it's over. There was no one there Shit. to like where he's like help and then did just did he. Fall into that position? Into that position? Yeah, cause like he had to, or did he climb down to that position? I'm not sure. They don't specify which part of like his climbing they were doing. Oh, dude, they're covering all this shit up so no one gets in trouble. Oh my yeah, that doesn't God. seem like a well thought out event, cause they should have like in any sport or in any competition, they always have like an ambulance on standby. They have people like. That's as soon in America, as you, though. Chinese competitions, competitions are different. Yeah, well, <laughs> even for stunt people, some people there they work just for for the catering. A meal. Yeah. Yeah. Like when they have uh, sh film shoots and stuff, they have a st whole stunt team that'll just work for food. Wow. So That's how uh, Jackie Chan's team was yep. when they first when started. When they off. first started. Mm -hmm. um, and then they don't use pads, they just use cardboard. So they, f they, they flat out, well, I don't know about now, but then the stories of Jackie and, and mm -hmm. his days, they would just pile on cardboard and fall on top of that. Good lord. Yeah. <laughs> They manufacture fucking trampolines. I don't know why they can't just put like a, something there. If they had someone there, as soon as he's like, fuck, I, I need assistance, then automatically he should just be out of the comp. You know, like right. if he has to call for help, then at least his life is spared and that's it. He's out, disqualified. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Safety net, dude. At least a safety net. Fuck, that's horrible. That sucks. This guy yeah. should have just bought okay, Bitcoin, on a, dude. On a very, uh, <laughs> So on the same note, but very different and so far removed from this poor tragic event, I would want to feel what it feels like to just kind of fall. Well, a fall like from, a, from a building? Yeah, like skydive. Well, just skydive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but I think that's the that's the that's the the difference. The difference here when he's climbing these buildings, there is the risk of no safety. Yeah. So that's a completely different feeling. Yeah. When you know you have a parachute. It's like having that's sex true. in public versus having sex in your bedroom. Very like, true. You run yeah. the risk of getting caught. Sixty six. Floors, that's a long fall to think 62. about. 62. 62, that's a long fall to think about how fucked you are. Oh, fuck. I know, that's the worst part about it. That's how I am on a roller coaster. I'm always like, fuck, 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 right? As it's going up, I'm like, God, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this shit, because it's like, get it over with already. Like, just let me go down now, because I hate this shit, yeah. you know? You don't like roller coasters? I don't like the anticipation part. I like the roller coaster part, but the waiting part. Oh, sucks. that's, I love that. Part. I hate that part. I like it when it's climbing up, but the one that I hate, it's like Supreme Scream or something. Like, you know, when you're up and they're just heavy. Yeah, right, I hate there, that. And just, I don't know where. Boom. And, no, I'm like, <laughs> and then they do that shit to you where they're like, do it. And they don't, and then you don't go and you're like, oh, come on, man. It's like sex, right? Like, I don't like having sex. I like the end part when I get <laughs> Got it. <laughs> you don't like the journey? No, like I hate the journey. It's terrible. No, it's a lot of work. Just put it in there and wait. I just always want to, I'm always thirsty. <laughs> I'm always so thirsty. You just want to hurry up and finish. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm like, just, I want to drink a water. You have to have like the camel. Yeah. You're having sex. Yeah, right? That'd be great, actually. No, not bad. I was I seen with the hat. The beer hat. <laughs> Two beer cans. They should make a sexy looking camel back for sex. Sex? Like a, a flesh covered one, so you can't really well, just, Oh, Yeah, weird. it just doesn't look like a, like your di like dad gear. Wait, you meant you were literally <laughs> thirsty? Yeah, I thought you were making a metaphor. No, I'm not at all. I'm like literally thirsty as hell. <laughs> While you're it's having harsh. sex? Yeah. I'm like, God damn it. Like, this is a lot of work. Like, I need to drink water. <laughs> Oh my god, you're working too He's a thirsty yeah. sexer. Weird. Because I'm like cardio, so sex is like the worst. It's not yeah, so uh, a lot of people are really shook by this because he would come out in a lot of advertisements on social media and he would- As a stuntman? A lot of rooftop yeah. events he would come to. He had more than oh, no. <laughs> He would climb up to his oh own god, rooftop he's... events. <laughs> his reception for his funeral is at a rooftop bar. I mean, right? Oh, he no. probably would have it no other way. He probably wants him to scatter his ashes off of oh. skyscraper. Have you seen that? I don't know where they offer it, but like you, it's a dining experience where yeah. you're hanging. Oh yeah, yeah, you sent it to me. We were supposed to go to that, but then it turned out to be like where a scam it? one. It was in LA. Uh, oh, what do you mean you're hanging? Uh, so they have like, I don't know, what, what, how does it work? So the table is being dangled. The table and the chairs are being dangled by ropes and you just sit there strapped yeah, in and yeah. your legs are just like floating on the and, and then you have like a full course like three course meal being served I would just complain the whole time about <laughs> about how I'm like suspended in the air <laughs> what if you have to pee if, get, if I drop my fork oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I just find something to complain about the whole time it's like that's what you signed up for dude <laughs> it looks like this <clears throat> that is so stupid <laughs> <laughs> I also wonder like what happens if you got to pee we are so bored. Is that our office? Huh? Hmm? At the bottom? You want to point that out so that everyone knows? Yeah. It's like, it looks like somewhere in Europe. I hope the food's good. Because usually these gimmicky things, the fucking food horrible food. Yeah.